Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my first haul and I'm really excited because I've never done one, obviously. <laughs> and I'm going to be featuring different products that you guys either recommended me or that you guys wanted me to review for you. So let's get started. Okay, so I just put everything in this Ulta bag. Not everything is from Ulta. Some products are online purchases um, and Ulta ones. So I'm going to be talking about my Birch Box today, Unique, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and MAC. And I think that's it. Oh, and yeah, Ulta. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Alright, so the first things I'm going to talk about are things I received on my Birch Box. So this is the Tarte amazonian clay maracuya bronzing serum and it's actually the full size which i am so excited about literally like when i opened my birch box i was like are you serious this is the first time i've ever had a birch box ever oh my goodness i have like such a mess back here hold on let me just clean that up for you <laughs> and i only paid 21 dollars. this is my very first birch box i actually learned about birch box from a beauty guru on instagram her name is beauty by angie 86 and this is a serum and it smells like it smells kind of like tan like a like a bronze like a tanning lotion you know like it has like that tanning lotion smell but yeah i'm really excited about this Ugh. I should probably put everything in a box because it's kind of loud i'm just gonna put everything up here that because you don't want to see that yet because it's a surprise for later next thing I got was this primer and this is the Miravella primer but it's it's kind of like it has that silicone silicone feel but it's not like too thick it's like pretty thin it's a face and eyes primer and it just keeps coming out it's like super full next product yeah, I've never heard of this brand it's the perfect wait no beauty for real so this is a lip liner and i'm actually really really happy with the shade that i got it's kind of a nudie like a mobby nude lip shade and you can see it right here so i'm really happy usually like with monthly subscriptions i don't tend to get colors of like shades of things that i really like um but i'm actually really happy with this pencil and then the other product that i got from beauty for real is this lip lipstick lip gloss in the color always there and I was actually really excited when I opened it I was like oh look it has a mirror that's really cool and then like I saw a little button in the back and I was like oh, please and I was like yes it has a, sh a little light on it who is bright <laughs> it's really bright um yeah I've never tried like the Gerard cosmetic lip glosses with the lights so this is like the first thing that I have with that idea and so I'm really excited for this product as well here's the shade it's a really pretty like mauvey pinky color like a raspberry color okay and then the last thing I got from the birch box were these cute little stickers I've used like different um, stickers on my hands they were from Walmart um, but these ones here are the pearlies flash tattoos so I'm excited to try out these and here you can kind of see it yep there you go Next thing I purchased were these two concealers. These are the Fit Me concealers from Maybelline. One of you guys recommended for me to try out the Maybelline Fit Me concealers because I always use the Radiant Creamy concealers from NARS on my videos. And I mean, like the packaging is super similar. And one of you guys told me that NARS makes Maybelline. So I was like, are you serious? If these concealers work out the same way as the NARS ones do, then this is gonna be like a fourth of the price and it's gonna be totally worth it. So I got the shades 20 and the shades 25, which is sand and medium. Here's the swatches for these. This is 20 and then this is 25. So 25 is a little bit darker. It's more of like a peachy shade. So I just wasn't sure what shade it would be, so I got both. They were at Ulta. Next products I purchased, I'm so excited about because I finally feel like I jumped into like the bandwagon of like what everyone's like talking about and obsessed with. So I went on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and I purchased their um, liquid lipsticks. I purchased six different shades um, that I thought would be like the cutest on my skin tone. So here they are. And I purchased Heather's, American Doll, Lovely, Vintage, Pure Hollywood, and Vamp. And I'm going to just quickly, quickly swatch these for you. 
Um, I'm not going to do like a review on them because I haven't tried them out yet. I've only tried out Heather's. Um, I did post that on my Instagram, but these shades came in later. Heather's, you may have seen on my Instagram. This is like the perfect red for winter. It's just kind of like a maroony color, and I just think it's super cute. It's like a really deep red, and it's right here. Vamp is kind of more of a brownie tone, and I'm going to swatch it right next to it. Okay, you can't tell the you can't tell the difference right now, <laughs> but I did I just I was playing around with it earlier, and I could notice the difference on my lips. So it's like the same as Heather's, but it's just more like a little bit more of a brown. I got the color Vintage, and this is kind of like a purpley shade, and it just looks so cute. I just feel like it's gonna be so perfect for the cold weather. So this one's right here. So it's kind of like a dark purple american doll and this one here is just kind of like a they have two different red shades one of them is more of a blue undertone and the other one's more of an orangey undertone i think that with me um the blue undertones look better just because it makes my teeth look whiter red right here then i got lovely and lovely is a it's like a light pink color kind of like a pink nudish color and it reminds me a lot of max hug me or no max please me which is kind of like a pinky but when it dries i was playing around with it earlier because you know when you get the package you just can't like look at it you have to like try it out you know <laughs> so it's right here but when it dries it just dries like a little bit darker the last shade I got is Pure Hollywood, and this is just a really beautiful nude shade. It's not the most nude that they have on the website. They have one that's lighter than this, but I just wanted to try something that was not too dark or too light because I wasn't sure how it's going to look on me. And this is just gorgeous, like flat out perfect. So it's right there. They all dry matte as well. So something good to know and then I'm just gonna stay stay with Anastasia Beverly Hills since I'm already talking about it I was on the website when I purchased the first lipstick the Heather's one and you know it says like oh if you purchase a certain amount you get like um free shipping so I was like oh well you know I've been wanting to try other eyeshadows so I'm going to and so I purchased Sienna and this is my first eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills here is the shade it's kind of like a warm like a warm brick brown it just looks super cute kind of reminds me of like a teddy bear or like cocoa or something i don't have many warm shades so this is gonna be perfect okay and then of course i was so excited for this literally i was this i got at ulta oh i'm not gonna show you yet i got this at ulta and it's the anastasia beverly hills contour kit i know a lot of people have it but this is new to my collection <laughs> so this is just the the main shade this is not they have like a medium to dark shade and then they have this one this is the one so it's not like the custom made ones i know you can like custom make some online it brings six different shades and these are all magnetic so you can take them out and just like put them like on a little z palette if you have that just like your favorite shades um but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be using all of these they seem like really close to what i would normally use for like highlighting and contouring it has this one here which is kind of a shimmery shade i will swatch that for you so it's kind of like a shimmery vanilla shade, I would say. Just like the name. I don't know if you can kind of see it. It's kind of like a shimmery banana. I feel like everyone's heard of this. This is just like a yellowish setting powder. It's going to be perfect. And then they also have a different setting powder, which is more of a pinky shade. So if you're like more like a pink undertone and not so much of a yellow undertone, you might like this one. So there you can see... You can see the difference between banana and then the, the other shade which is called sand so here is java fawn and havana you can definitely check the, the middle one is kind of like a taupey brown the other two seem pretty similar i think that java is more like a reddish undertone but yeah i'm super excited for this palette all right next product I got the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is Gimme Sun, and it has an exclamation point, so it, Gimme Sun, I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> Here it is, and it's not a very dark shade at all. Um, the only thing is when I swatched it, it seems kind of like orangey, 
to me but maybe that's just a shade i asked a girl and she was like oh that's just how it looks but once you apply it it's gonna look like super pretty and it's not gonna look orangey at all so i was like okay yeah i'm gonna try that especially because it's matte and i need like a matte bronzer so there is that one right, and then the last but definitely not least product that i got was the unique um mascara and i was actually really excited for this this was sent to me by unique to review and i've actually had never heard of this until i joined instagram once i joined instagram i felt like there was so many posts about this mascara and i will I've always been like um do you think it works like does it work so i finally get to try it out for you guys and it just kind of comes with instructions and then it brings two different mascaras when i opened it i was like oh i get two mascaras like i guess i got lucky but one of them is a gel and then the other one is the fibers and then you go with the gel again so that you can seal everything and it's supposed to make your lashes super long and thick and voluminous and i will be posting a review on my blog within the next like week or two for you guys i know that i posted a picture of this already on my instagram and some of you guys have been wanting me to do a review because you've been wondering if you should purchase it or not so i will definitely be letting you know my honest opinion about this i also received a pencil eyeliner i like never use pencil eyeliners i always use the gel ones or the liquid ones so this seems like it's going to be really fun to try out as well and let me swatch that for you it's not like super black but it's like a charcoal black so i'm excited to try this like on my waterline or like to tight line and this is the shade perfect so that's it <laughs> i wish i had more products i just love makeup so that's all the products that i purchased um i don't know if it was like too little or too much <laughs> but let me know below what other products you guys would like for me to try out if you recommend any or any reviews that you would like to see um, I love doing that. I know that I will be doing a review for the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks because a lot of you guys wanted me to and then also on the Unique Mascara because a lot of you guys wanted me to on Instagram. So be sure to look out for those on my blog, littlemissnaughty.com. I will link it right here. Right here. Okay right there <laughs> so that's everything i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time bye oh we got a lot of stuff here a lot of stuff oh i'm missing a concealer <gasps> where are you where is it Why? I always lose everything. Por qué? Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Are you? <laughs> um, stop touching your hair, please. Oh, I'm still filming. Ooh, these lipsticks are just not coming off, baby. Not coming off. I don't want to look like I'm some kind of messy, like, person. Because I'm not. I'm, like, super clean.